this is how we form plates in New Zealand. Um, one man can do a plate six meters long in this wheeling machine. So here there is an electric motor, three phase, two ways. And here is um, the wheel. Now the wheel is, if you imagine a weightlifter's um, we, uh, weight with a rounded edge about that size that's in there and this is a deep reduction behind there is a V block and I used to use polyester for aluminium because it doesn't mark the mark the plate when you get up over six millimeters you've got to go back to steel V block so one man can do one plate or about four plates a day um, six meters long to plate a, a boat um, so here you can see you saw on the Neeland um, video about forming machines well these were done with the same machine you can see this plate that was done in the overhead gantry one man you just wheel it backwards and forwards and you tip it run it and straighten it up and it brings the brings the plate lower down so you've covered every square millimeter of the surface unfortunately in those days uh, I never really had CAD programs nothing like that so these plates were just cut to cut to their final size on the job I started to write a, write a book on um, building of aluminium yachts so this is me when I was much younger plating a 36 foot aluminium sailboat I didn't know any better. I was building upside down, and it's not the way to be at all. So it was the only that was the last boat that I built upside down. Uh, there, there was no advantage. In fact, there's many disadvantages. If you build it the right way up, you start from the keel, and many people work can work inside the boat before it's even finished. But they can't do that with it upside down. An essential tool if you're building aluminium sailing boats or any other boat, this machine, bandsaw, it will work, run pretty well two or three hours a day. Marvellous, marvellous and fast.